So we are here at Bergen County Harley Davidson. What's up, you guys? Know, my main man Sergio right here. So we got the demo truck right here behind us. This demo truck is gonna be active this Friday, this Saturday at Bergen County. So if you are in the area, come over. If you're gonna do uh, some test rides, we got some amazing bikes right here. So they just took in the Lowrider ST. Um, we got a few CVOs. We got this Heritage right here. We got this Lowrider S Gunship Gray. Uh, 117 obviously with the Sportster S and we got this Pan America right here my favorite color for 2022 um, amazing colors so a bunch of bunch of bikes stop by this weekend it's gonna be we got food over here too yes, sir. we got food we got a live band we do we got some Saturday. great activities we do and we got brand new bikes so if you guys are in the area and you are looking for a brand new bike actually this guy tell him I sent you all right um, but yeah so we also what do we have we have the uh, can we say we can. All right. We, we also have the brand new Nightster here. Uh, we are supposed to be taking it out right now for a test ride. So that hopefully it stops. It doesn't rain because it's like drizzling right now. We're not allowed to take it on the rain. Um, so if it does not rain, we're going to be taking it out. We're going to be showing you guys. Is it the first one in Jersey or the first one in the tri-state area? area? Yeah. Got first one in the tri-state area. Got dropped off this morning. Ready prepped. Ready for us to ride it. This guy's been looking forward to this all day. And yes, sir. Let's go. Now you're bummed out. Let's go. It's not really. So let's turn it up. Um, so we're gonna go inside right now. Check the bike out. Give it a nice little walk around. tell you it looks even better in person um, and I thought this whole area in the front was gonna bother me here in person but it's really not um, it's actually really nice the wheels look really sick in person as well and guess what we finally got an LED is it on it is we got an LED uh, headlight in the front which is amazing um, nice buttons these are all oh, these are all brand new controls too I thought it was gonna be like the kind of like the Pan America but it's not less buttons less buttons is better um, I gotta say, I don't like these mirrors. These mirrors are very like Euro trends. The new trends. that came in though for this are dope. Nice. We'll show you those later. Um, can we see how we can lift up? Uh, how do we? So you need a key. Are oh, you doing to get in? Once you get in, this pops up. Pull it up. Ah. And there she is. Who would have thought? Harley Davidson <laughs> putting gas <laughs> under the seat. Under the like seat. On a, on like a Yamaha. On oh, the V rod. Yeah. True. So as we know now, guys, for those of you who don't know, this is only an air box now. This is only for looks. Your gas cap is gonna be under here, right under your seat. Um, they did that for better balancing and everything. So Serge is gonna take this out. Let's go. Hopefully I get to throw a leg over it. Maybe. Um, and yeah. Beautiful design, man. And wait, what, what you said, we, we got a bunch of new accessories in for the yes. bike? All the new Nightster accessories are in. We have a forward control kit. We got derby covers. We got grips. We got a bunch of stuff can that will hit the and, floor. Can we come back and see them? Yes, sir. All right, so we're going to show you guys all the accessories you can get for this bike. So, And this bike is going to be available for everyone to ride this weekend as well? This is for looks this weekend only, unfortunately. But we are, as a dealer, allowed to put 50 miles on it. So that's what me and you are going to do right now. Awesome. All right, let's get on the road. Mother Nature has blessed us. It is not raining. Those little sprinkles kind of went away. Uh, we're just gonna do some little local riding. Uh, head towards the George Washington Bridge, but we'll get up over before that, around the Edgewater area. And um, there's a park where we get some nice footage of Sergio on the bike. We'll go do a little walk around again and show you guys a little bit more close-ups of everything. Um, but let me tell you, man, the bike looks phenomenal in person. You have no idea. Like at first, I really liked it when they first came out with the design and the launch and everything. I was like, wow, it's really cool. But seeing it in person, 
it's just something else, man. It looks really, really good. I don't know how you wanted to ride. It's smooth. It's stupid. All right, so first things first, coming off the first ride, what do you think? So I had an A83 and then I had a Dyna. And then getting on this at a 975, this thing takes off better than both. Yeah? Super smooth? Smooth, like, I'm shocked. How's the power delivery? Really good, really good, man. It just kicks right in and takes you. Limb, it's light, it's fast, it's freaking aerodynamic. It's got everything. It has everything. How did um how did it feel shifting gears? Is it real smooth as well? Stupid smooth. Like it, it was seamless. It just happens. It's so nice, man. Like I, I think they did such a great job with this, man. Because everything just looks great on it. And I imagine after you put a few accessories and you change a few things around. I'll mention it again. I don't like these mirrors. It's, it's like I'm on a Euro bike, but I mean, that's like the least of it. But for a stock bike, you can legit just leave it the way it is right now and still be okay with it. Yeah, of, course of course, you're going to want to play with it and yeah, change some yeah, stuff. Yeah, you, know, you might want to make it your own. Like, you can leave the lot feeling like you just got the sickest bike Harley has out right now. It is. And then you were mentioning before, because when we get back, I want to go see those accessories, yeah, but a ton sure. of accessories came Tons. in. Tons. And just to clarify, this bike is going to be available for everyone to see tomorrow at the demo on Saturday. Yes. But is it for the demo? Is it for sale? So is it for, for the dealership? So it's for show only for now. Um, they didn't tell us why, but they said it just got delivered this morning. We just did um, the PDI on it, so we, we got it ready to go. We're putting some miles on it for Harley, and um, that's about it at the moment. Nice. Now, now, like I was mentioning before, guys, I'm going to be flying out to California next week um, to ride this bike and the Lowrider ST. Oh, it, oh, my God, it does feel super light. What? Bro, like, not, not even a sport, so you could go like this. Exactly. <laughs> Look at that. What? That's super light, man. Ergonomics? feels good i don't want to give you guys an in-depth review of anything because that's what i'm going to be doing next week in california and i want to take my time with that but as of now it looks way better in person than than when i first saw it on the launch like i was mentioning before um it feels really really light so those 60 to 80 pounds that they took off trust me you could definitely feel it right away it's wow and like i said before like i i, I really thought that radiator was going to bother me looking at it it's it's not that crazy look i mean i don't know it's like this right here is like do i really want to see this cap right here not really but from the pictures you the video looks bigger in pictures than what it does in person but um, if you put an engine guard on it maybe it'll hide it some more and then it won't an engine even guard yeah so i'm pretty sure they're, they're gonna be coming out with more pieces and accessories to cover this up and everything oh man this thing feels great this is awesome. All right, then we get the mode button right here too. Okay, so you had it on sport mode? <laughs> I was, I was gonna ask him like, are you gonna have it on sport mode, rain mode, and then road mode? So you got three modes on here. Amazing. Pretty cool. I, I like, I like that gauge. Yeah. This actually looks even better in person. Oh man, they did such a great job, bro. Harley Davidson, kudos. The adjustable levers in the front as well. Like, come on, man. Oh. Virgil, am I allowed to take this around or, not, or is it only you? Or you're, you're the only lucky guy who gets to take it out today. I'm one of a kind today. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be riding the hell out of this next week in California. I can't today, but yeah. Oh, man. It looks great. Let's get, let's get you guys some shots of, of Sergio going around here in the parking lot. Um, damn. Does it come with these clear caps like this yep. in the back? This is stock, came right off the truck just like this. That's it. That's it. Wow. 
I'm impressed. I am really impressed. Nine seven five. Now, obviously, we were expecting the nine seven five. What I am thinking, because we got the twelve fifty on the Sportster S. Can we expect a 1250 coming out? That's just gonna be another nice but a 1250 version of it. That's something that I'm looking forward to. I'm gonna be asking these questions next week to so the corporate team. Just the Sportster S. Or it might be the Sportster S. And this is the one below it. This is what, 14K? Roughly. And then the Sportster S is... I forgot the price about the Sportster S. Yeah, I forgot. But it's, it's, it's lower, it's cheaper than the Sportster S. A little more than uh, a 48. I would say it's way more comfortable too. Sitting on it, uh, the ergonomics feels good on it. Really comfortable. You know? Um, the guy in it, I didn't feel anything. I was like, wait, what? Yeah. 